They used to be so valuable, they were free. Roadmaps may have gone to slide rule heaven, but they were king. Swelling huge in glove compartments, refusing to be refolded, snickering as we wrestled them wider. Marriages foundered, thin lips, insults, tears, shouts as the map went hurtling through the window to pirouette in the car's diminishing wake before drifting down to tent the roadside weeds. Now, GPS. Oh, there are always holdouts. Luddites who cite the morons who drove off cliffs, glitch-guided, who claim it's lousy in the loop. And I grant that maps are glamorous, the world wide in your lap, manageable, all places there simultaneously, your past, your future. But that map can't tell you where you are, which is half of navigation. Wasn't that always the problem? By the time you'd figured out where you were and found it on the map, you'd missed your exit. GPS lives in the moment. Sometimes the good ones let you look ahead, pan out, zoom in, even overlay a bird's eye view of real trees, rivers, rooftops. But the beating heart is still that small blue dot, like our planet seen from space, that stands for you. And the quiet voice that guides you through confusions absorbing your mistakes without reproach, recalculating a way to bring you home.